This video demonstrates the process for computing current year depreciation for real property. I created an additional container and adjusted step number labels prior to recording this video. Drag a formula tool from the preparation menu until it connects with the J output anchor from the join tool in step 17. Click on the down arrow next to select column and choose the option to add a column. Label the new column current year depreciation underscore I. Click FX and then click the right arrow to expand the conditional formula menu. Choose the option for if C then T else if C2 then T2 else F and if. Replace C with placed into service month equal 1. Replace 2 with cost time January divided by 100. Move your cursor in front of else if and hit the enter key to move it to a new line. Replace C2 with placed into service month equal to 2. and replace T2 with cost times February divided by 100. Move your cursor in front of else, f, and if, and hit enter to move it to a new line. Copy the entire else, if formula. Hit enter, and then paste the formula on the next line. Repeat this process eight more times. Replace the second number two with three and February with March. Repeat this process for all months through month number 11 or November. Finally, replace F with cost time December divided by 100. Change the data type to fixed decimal. Leave the default for precision, but change the scale to zero. While this conditional formula has a similar objective to the conditional formula used for tangible personal property, the mid-month convention formula relies on matching the month an asset was placed into service, not the useful life. Click on the plus arrow to add another formula. Add a new column, label the column monthly depreciation. We are going to assume that we are neither in the first year that a real property asset was placed into service nor the last year that it was in service. Therefore, any month will do. In the formula box, enter January divided by 12 divided by 100. Change the data type to fixed decimal and leave the defaults for precision and scale. Click the plus sign to add another formula. Click the drop down arrow and select the option to add a column. Name the column current year depreciation. Click the FX button and open the conditional formula menu. Select if C then T else F and if from the menu. Replace C with disposal year equal to 2021. Replace T with cost times, open three parents, disposal month minus one, close a paren times, monthly depreciation, close a paren plus, open a new paren, 0.5 times, monthly depreciation, and then close two parens. Replace F with current year depreciation underscore I. Change the data type to fixed decimal and change the scale to zero. Save and run your workflow.
When you click on the output anchor from the formula tool, you can scroll over and verify that the calculations for current year depreciation underscore I and monthly depreciation are correct and that the current year depreciation formula properly accounts for dispositions using the mid-month convention. Great job! You have now computed current year depreciation for both personal and real property. In the next video, you will learn how to combine the tangible personal property depreciation file and the real property depreciation files.